the still unknown relationship between what we call the unconscious psyche and what we call matter, a mystery with which psychosomatic medicine endeavors to grapple. In studying this still undefined and unexplained connection, it may prove to be that psyche and matter are actually the same phenomenon, one observed from within and the other from without. Dr. Jung put forward a new concept that he called synchronicity. This term means a meaningful coincidence of outer and inner events that are not themselves causally connected. The emphasis lies on the word meaningful. If an aircraft crashes before my eyes as I am blowing my nose, this is a coincidence of events that has no meaning. It is simply a chance occurrence of a kind that happens all the time. But if I bought a blue frock and by mistake the shop delivered a black one on the day one of my near relatives died, this would be a meaningful coincidence. The two events are not causally related, but they are connected by the symbolic meaning that our society gives to the color black. Wherever Dr. Jung observed such coincidences in an individual's life, it seemed, as the individual's dreams revealed, that there was an archetype activated in the unconscious of the individual concerned. To illustrate this by my example of the black frock, in such a case the person who receives the black frock might also have had a dream on the theme of death. It seems as if the underlying archetype is manifesting itself simultaneously in inner and external events. The common denominator is a symbolically expressed message, in this case, a message about death. As soon as we notice that certain types of event like to cluster together at certain times, we begin to understand the attitude of the Chinese, whose theories of medicine, philosophy, and even building are based on a science of meaningful coincidences. The classical Chinese texts did not ask what causes what, but rather what likes to occur with what. One can see much the same underlying theme in astrology and in the way various civilizations have depended on consulting oracles and paying attention to omens. All of these are attempts to provide an explanation of coincidence that is different from one that depends on straightforward cause and effect. In creating the concept of synchronicity, Dr. Jung sketched a way in which we might penetrate deeper into the interrelation of psyche and matter, and it is precisely toward such a relation that the symbol of the stone seems to point. But this is still a completely open and insufficiently explored matter with which future generations of psychologists and physicists must deal. Synchronistic events almost invariably accompany the crucial phases of the process of individuation. But too often they pass unnoticed because the individual has not learned to watch for such coincidences and to make them meaningful in relation to the symbolism of his dreams.